Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. Today we're going to be looking at the Retroid Pocket Mini. Retroid dropped the information over the weekend on a trailer that they released on their channel. And right here you can see the unit. It's going to have a glass front panel apparently, which is a first for them. I really like the beige reddish kind of look of the buttons. It's very sleek and polished. It's going to have front firing speakers, RGB lighting around the sticks. Apparently the D-pad and the buttons are very much like the Retroid Pocket 2S. Right here we've got vents for active cooling. So that would mean that it would most probably that there's a good chance it's going to have a powerful processor. They also put some information up on their X or Twitter channel. So apparently it's going to be a 4.3 with a 1280 by 960 resolution, 3.7 inch in size, and it's going to be OLED, which is quite awesome. So with this kind of resolution and this size, we're going to have very good pixel density. And with the OLED, it's going to make any kind of game and color pop. And then along with that, they released these color schemes. Apparently these aren't official or confirmed as yet. It might change. Don't take this as set in stone. One thing though, is this unit on the side here. Looks like it came out of a circus, really. It looks like it doesn't know what it wants to be. I would rather have had red buttons over here with red sticks. That would have looked much better with the scheme, I think. The beige and red I've said looks really great. I like the orange, black, and gray. That kind of reminds me of Overwatch, the Overwatch color scheme. Going to come in at 215 grams. As a bit of comparison, the Pocket 2S is 201 grams around there. And something like the Power Kitty RGB 30 comes in at around 212 grams to give you an idea of how much this little unit is going to weigh. It's going to be a little bit longer than the RP2S. Going to be a bit thicker though, so probably less pocketable because it has ergonomic grips at the back. Along with that, they've dropped this image of the black version of it. You can really see how nice the sort of bezel-less design, what they're calling a bezel-less design but it is basically just the bezel being hidden in the color and the ergonomic grips at the back there, looking really great. Price-wise and performance, we're not sure what is going to be in this unit. We don't know what kind of battery it's going to have. The stock Retroid Pocket 4 comes with a D900 processor and the Pocket 4 Pro comes with a D1100 processor. The Pocket 4 coming in at 150 and the Pocket 4 Pro at 199. So I'm guessing that this unit will likely have a D900 Maybe better, a D1100. If it has a D900, I think in price range of around 150 to 175. D1100, 175 up to 200. Uh, if it is more powerful than that, if they use something like a D1200 or a D1300 processor, it's going to go over 200 definitely. That's just my guess. We're not sure. Don't quote me on it. That's what we know so far about the Retroid Pocket 4 Mini. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Drop a comment below. That's it for this one though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next tech update.